saying? Did you get the bail money? Look, I'm tired of this, man. I mean, they have searched me to... At least they gave me some hot coffee. Speaking of hot coffee, since I'm going to be here a little while, we could talk about heat transfer rate. So heat transfer rate is the rate at which heat is transferred, thermal energy, the rate at which it moves in or to or out of a substance. So um, like this hot coffee, mm. prison coffee. Anyway, this is cooling right now because it's hotter than the surroundings and heat always goes from the higher temperature object to the lower temperature object. So, so we're losing heat here and we're losing at a certain rate. The bigger the temperature difference, the faster you lose uh, thermal energy. So, well, let's do some calculations. Heat transfer rate. It's a thermal rate. It's given by Q sub H. Just like volume flow rate was Q sub V for volume, this is Q sub H for heat transfer rate. And it's the rate at which thermal energy, or heat, moves into or out of a substance. And the units are those of thermal energy over time, so like calories per second, or uh, BTUs, British Thermal Units per hour. Or, you know, this is just energy, so it could even be joules per minute, or watts, okay? Let's put watts in there. Okay. okay. And maybe a dot to show you that there are lots more. Now, if you'll remember, thermal energy, energy moving into or out of a substance, is equal to the mass of the substance times the specific heat of the substance times the temperature difference. Now, the bigger the temperature difference, uh, the bigger the heat, right, the more heat that's in there, and the bigger the heat transfer rate. See, anything else? Well, I should tell you about the cooling and the heating rate. Cooling or heating rate, depending on what's going on. And that's given just by an R. And it's just the temperature difference. over time, the change in temperature over time. It's not energy, it's temperature. So let's do an example. Hmm. Let's say, just for an easy one, um, let's say I've got this coffee, and it's lost. 14 BTUs in the last three minutes, four minutes, the last four minutes. So I've got the cup of coffee. And heat's drifting out of it. Some of it's coming out here, but mostly out the top. And uh, the thermal energy I've lost is 14 BTUs. I'm a professional, I know how to do this. And the time it took to do that was uh, four minutes. And I want to know, what's the heat transfer rate? Well, the heat transfer rate is the heat emitted or absorbed over time. I'm just going to ask, you know, if it's cooling, I'll say, what's the heat emitted? If it's absorbing, I'll say, what's the heat absorbed? That way the answer will always be positive, so you won't have to worry about negatives. So i got 14 British thermal units of heat energy, four minutes, so that's uh, three and a half BTUs per minute. You can pause that there and, and uh, make sure you get it. Make sure it makes sense to you. Because now I'm going to erase it and then we'll do something in metric. By the way, the specific heat, uh, talked about that in uh, Physics 1. So if you look under thermal energy in physics 1, it'll talk about the specific heat. I'll just mention that it's the amount of energy you need to put into a, a gram, say, of material to raise its energy by one degree. 
So how much energy you have to put into a certain mass of material to raise this energy, it varies by substance because different substances absorb the energy and put it in different places, some of which don't show up as temperature. So you need to know that specific heat. Well, let's talk about this coffee. Let's say it's pretty much water, because it is. 